What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Power by Primus and in today's video I'm going to be doing a deck profile on this bad team right here. This orange black menace. Really really fun deck. It does a lot of really cool things but it ultimately is a very orange black deck which is really running around a lot right now so I thought this was a really fun version of an orange black deck. Obviously there are going to be better versions out there if you are trying to just play a specifically orange black deck. However this just has a couple of really fun things that are built into it that makes this deck a little more fun especially Mind Wipey is an awesome character so it is really really cool to kind of try up a different team as well as try to get the same concept done by continuously beating your opponent down with damage from horrible or if you're going to be trying to go for like the mag rays and all that other really good jazz so I wanted just to show you guys this list now the first character we're talking about here is horrible uh, he comes in here at six stars seven because you do add the head a lot of people have been really curious about that lately if you do do that uh, this character does count as a seven star character so you always do add the stars from the head map sorry the Titan master to the character so he is always counted as seven stars now he's going to have three attack, nine health, and two defense coming across the table. And then it says when you flip to this mode, you get to move one damage counter from this to an enemy. And how we're going to be able to get damage counters onto him is obviously by being attacked and then um, doing his ability here. He does switch over to 4-1 when going into this mode and melee, which is going to be relevant. I believe he's melee in both modes. Yeah, melee in both modes, which is going to be relevant in the deck. It says whenever you play a black card, you may do one damage to an enemy and one damage to this. <clears throat> So obviously you're just going to obviously put a damage counter on the character and then you're going to put a damage counter on the enemy, uh, which is just really, really fun. And then when you're playing obviously a black action and a black utility for the turn you're dealing to, it can get really, really crazy. And then again, flip over to this mode and we get to ship it back over to an enemy, which is really strong. Demolisher coming in here, probably my favorite character when it comes to talking about aggressive decks for tanks. Just at any time, just really trying to flip a million cards. He's always one of my go-tos. Going to be tank and range, which is going to be relevant in the deck as well. Coming in with 373 in this mode says when you flip to this mode draw one card for each of your other tanks well we have no other tanks so you'll never have to worry about that ability however when we flip over to this mode which is where he's going to spend the majority of his time we are going to pick up melee which again is going to be relevant in the list zero attack crazy right i'll show you guys why here in just a few minutes seven health and then four defense which is really really awesome because you always want to attack in this mode and then you have more defense in bot mode than you do in tank mode i know really strange but it is really really cool when this is attacking, you get to flip extra battle cards equal to his defense. So normally you flip two, obviously when it comes to your attack, and then you're gonna flip four for his base. Now there are gonna be tons of things, up, no, I don't say tons of things, there are going to be a few things in the list that we are going to use to up his defense. So he's swinging for more cards. And believe me, this guy is going to flip a crazy amount. Now, this deck is not designed to really push insane, like, 15 attack swings. However, it is designed to do, like, 7 pure 7 swings. So it's going to be really annoying for your opponent because even if they do happen to have good defense, they're not going to be able to stop our, P our pierce because we are putting so much down on top of hand disruption with Mind Wipe, who is coming in here with 4-12-2 across the table. And it says, when you flip to this, this mode you get to choose a battle icon color then look at your opponent's hand and scrap a card from it that has the battle icon of that color so essentially espionage from wave two is a battle card you will be able to get that whenever you flip to this mode we're going to be a beast in this mode unfortunately not relevant yet and then we're going to transform over into this mode line them up oh so pretty and it's uh five twelve and one so we're gonna lose defense pick up an attack just like horrible and then this says that when this attacks you flip at least a black battle icon which you always will do uh your opponent chooses a card from their hand and scraps it if they can't then you instead draw one which is really nice so this is really nice to be able to help get those cards out of your opponent's hand really wear them down and then on top of that if they don't have cards because you've already gotten to that point then great you do get to draw cards so it's always really nice and then we're gonna be swinging in here with pierce four i guess i didn't talk about it uh horrible also has uh, plus two health while well, Kreb is going to be attached to him so he does have 11 health and then just like any of the other uh, Titan Masters when the body mode character goes down you get to deploy the little guy that is going to come with it now Ominous here is going to give us Pierce 4 with our mind wipes I do want to make sure you guys get that it is going to be swinging for 5 Pierce 4 which is kind of insane so any, much, any black pips we flip we're going to be getting guaranteed damage with mind wipe so usually this character gets in for like 8 Pierce 8 on a regular basis which is really really nice Kreb coming in here for 2-2-0 across the board. Nothing much here. Going to be melee again, really nice. And then Ominous coming in here with Pierce 4, but 2 attack. Again, we're flipping a bunch of oranges and blacks, so we're always going to be hitting at least 4 Pierce 4, even possibly 5 Pierce 5 with little Ominous, which is kind of insane. Again, these are all before playing battle cards, which is pretty crazy. So let's get into the battle cards. 
All right, the first three coming in here is going to be Mag Ray, Magnetic Dysfunction Ray. This is going to be an orange black metal icon. Again, we talked about really, this is gonna be very, very heavy orange black. And then this says, deal one damage to each character, and then you get to deal one damage to each Autobot. So if your opponent is running Autobots, they'll essentially take two damage from this card, one from the initial shot, and then one for each, uh, sorry, then one to each Autobot after the fact. Then again, if we do have our Horrible in this mode, then we're gonna be able to then, because we're playing a black battle icon, deal one to Horrible and one to another character. Pretty, pretty insane stuff. The next three coming in here is going to be Wedge Formation, which is why we were talking about melee and range being a thing. It's because of Wedge Formation. First off, this is an orange, black, and a green battle icon card, so it's gonna be able to feed us all those really good jazz again with the orange blacks, and then the green so we can fish it after combats. And then this says repair one damage for one of your melee characters. Sweet. And then if you have a ranged character on the battlefield, draw a card. Again, we only have ranged on Demolisher when he is going to be in tank mode. Um, so it's sometimes I flipped him to be able to pick up to draw a card if you're in a desperate situation. However, it's mainly used so we can just get the battle icons plus repair one from a melee character. The next three coming in here is going to be Fight for Position. Fight for Position, again, orange black battle icon, and it does give one of our characters bolt two, meaning we get to flip two more cards when it comes to attacking. So again, really strong. Obviously, we're really kind of pushing a lot of that direct damage, I'm sorry, a lot of that pierce damage. So we're always trying to swing, get more attacks in. Obviously, flipping more two cards is great. And then obviously trying to get more black battle icons out of that as well, which is why it's gonna be in there over supercharges that I really want it for the black battle icon. Again, Horrible really loves these things. So does Mind Wipe, obviously, attacking, so it's a really good card. The next three coming in, no surprise here, is going to be Peace Through Tyranny. Now this card is going to be a double orange battle icon, should be banned, and then it says that I can KO one of my characters that is six stars or more. If I do, I get to take an extra turn. Now if you are really curious how this is going to work with some of these bots, again, because Horrible is going to count as a seven star character, even without the head, uh, he still would count as a six star. Uh, if you were in whatever mode, you would go ahead and KO the body, you get to deploy the head, and then you would still take your turn after yours just like normal. The next three coming in here is going to be Kamian Crash. Now this is going to be a black battle icon introduced with wave five, which is another really strong card, just like Magnetic Dysfunction Ray. It is a black battle icon, so our Mind Wipe and our Horrible loves him. It says do one damage to one of your characters and you do two damage to an enemy. Again, if we're running a Horrible, you get to do some crazy stuff. You first off will play this, you get to deal one damage to one of your characters, uh, you know, ping whatever one you want, two to one of theirs, and then Horrible gets to proc one to himself and then one to theirs. So it's just a lot of direct damage flying across the table when Horrible is out. The next two coming in here is going to be Precision Fire. Precision Fire is another Wave 5 card coming in with an orange or black battle icon. It says choose a mode and then you get to deal one damage to each character in that mode. Now if you're curious where these modes come in, they are always going to be located here on all characters. Here it's also going to follow up by saying bot mode or it's going to say uh, head mode. You can go ahead and choose body mode. Obviously you can't choose head mode because uh, you can't do direct damage to these, but you can pick body mode, you can pick alt mode, uh, combiner mode, all of those really good jazz, um, and then you get that damage. Next two coming in here is going to be Hold the Line. Hold the Line is a really, really good card. I find myself playing at least one or two in most of my lists. It is going to be a white and a green battle icon. White allowing us to flip two more cards when it comes to attacking and defense. And then it is a green, so we get to pick it up after combats, which is really, really nice. It is a secret action. It says when one of your characters defends, you get to flip this card, repair one damage from that character first, and then it can at only at max take the same number of damage as the attacker stars. I know it sounds really confusing. However, let's say that we do have our horrible who is in at seven stars and is being attacked by a five star character. That means that we do combat just like normal. He flips for his attack, I flip for my defense, and then let's say I were to take two damage, well then I just take two damage. However, if that character goes to hit me for like 15 damage, however, its star count says that it's only five stars, so I only take a maximum five. So you can only take the max as the number of stars on that character. Same thing if they're attacking with a body mode character, like if they were attacking with a mind wipe in the same scenario here, uh, mind wipe is coming in here at nine stars stars and ominous is coming at three stars so we are a total of 12 so if we're attacking and our opponent reveals a hold the line the max number that they can take is 12 damage the next two cards coming in here are going to be one of we have counter espionage which is going to be a black green battle icon black obviously helping us out for all those previous talked about things and then green because it's going to be a card we can pick up after combats it says name an action and then look at your opponent's hand and scrap i'm sorry and each face down secret action among them and you can scrap all of those cards so if you happen to name a card like hold the line that's saying your opponent reveals and they have one in their hand and they have one face down in play well you get to scrap both of them you also don't have to go for secret actions you can obviously just name any action so if you're worried about your opponent having a piece of tyranny in their hand or whatever else the case is, then you can try to get it out via an espionage. 
The last card coming in here is going to be Disassemble. Now, Disassemble is a fantastic card. Essentially, it's going to be a lot like a Ramming Speed or a Vaporize with a couple of conditions to follow it. It is first off going to be a black and a green battle icon. If it was just black, it would do what Vaporize and that does. However, they wanted to give it a green battle icon so you can pick it up. And with that, it says scrap an enemy. I'm sorry, scrap any weapon or armor. Its owner draws one card. So that means you can also target your own character if you wish. You really need to see that character. You're trying to get rid of a Bashing Shield or Enforcement Baton from your character so you can shuffle it back in. Whatever the case is, you can also scrap it from any enemy, obviously. And then whoever uh, does have to scrap that upgrade or weapon does get to draw a card. So essentially, it'll cycle itself out. Now getting into the upgrades, the first one that I have a lot of fun with in this list is actually Crystal of Power. This is one card that I really, really love playing with Demolisher, which we'll talk about here in just a second. First off, it is a black battle icon card. It is a weapon and an armor. So you uh, must have an open weapon and armor slot. If you do have a weapon and try to play this in your armor slot, that's fine, but it does replace your weapon. This does take up both slots on a character at all time. And it says, uh, it also tells you that it occupies one weapon and one armor slot. No, it says when the upgraded character battles, you get to scrap this card after the battle, meaning it gets to stick around for the battle. And there's a specific reason as to why we love that. It does give our character plus three attack and plus two defense. So if you are playing it on your demolisher when we are in this mode, guess what? This guy is going to be hitting like a truck, but he's a tank. So we're going to be getting plus three attack, which is really, really nice, and plus two defense. And again, remember when this character attacks, you get to flip extra battle cards equal to his defense. So you get to attack and you get to start with three attack and then you get to flip two additional cards. So now we are flipping six on top of that. So essentially it is bold six for just playing a weapon and you're getting plus three attack. So I don't know if you can ask for anything better in this world than a plus three bold two weapon going on top of Demolisher is absolutely insane. This guy hits so, so hard. He loves, loves, loves the Crystal of Power. Next three coming in is going to be another card from Wave 5, which is going to be Fusion Borer. This is a black battle icon card, obviously fantastic. It's going to be a weapon, does give us Pierce 3, and then it does give us plus 3 attack. And on top of that, it says when the upgraded character attacks, scrap this card after the battle. So we do get to lose it, however, it does give us plus 3 attack and does give us Pierce 3. And I'll tell you what, when you go ahead and flip over here and you're in this mode and you play something like a Fusion Borer and you get to swing with your Mind Wipe, you are currently in for eight Pierce seven to begin, which is really, really insane. Now, pretty much any black pip or orange pip you flip, you start to hit these really, really high, super powerful Pierce turns. Next we're coming in here is going to be Improvised Shield. Now this is mainly going to be in there because it is a double orange battle icon card. It is an armor and does say tough one. Again, however, we're not really ever going to be playing this card. We really like it just because it is double orange. Next three coming in here is going to be Grenade Launcher. You can't really build an aggressive deck without having a Grenade Launcher. It is an orange metal icon, it gives you plus four attack and it is busted. Next two coming in here is going to be RR Disruptor Blade. This is going to be a black battle icon card. It is a weapon and it does give us plus three attack. It says when the upgraded character attacks and you don't flip a black battle icon, you get to scrap this card after the battle. Again, I don't think there's ever been a turn that I have not flipped a black battle icon, so it usually tends to just stick around and be awesome. The next two coming in here with Wave 5 as well is going to be Escape Capsule. Now this is an orange and a black battle icon and especially loves to be put onto body mode characters. It is a utility and it does say when you deploy the upgraded character's head, you get to put this and any other upgrades that were on the upgraded character onto the deployed character and character blah blah blah. Okay, it's really confusing stuff so I'm going to walk you guys through it and see how you do. Uh, if it comes down to this being on my mind wipe, right, I have this here and let's say I even have a Disruptor Blade because like I said, it doesn't go away you happen to ko my mind wipe for my opponent you essentially you're going to put the character to the side you get to deploy the little bot from underneath him and these upgrades do get to stay on the character where normally if you didn't have the escape capsule any upgrades would be scrapped as well as the character being ko'd and deploy the character without any upgrades but with escape capsule again we get to bring him over which is really really nice and then if you are curious even with something like fort max um after even fort max goes down and you bring out uh, Cerebros, this does follow over and then after you have Cerebros go down, it does follow over to whatever your previous character is as well because this will always constantly go over to the next character. The next two coming in here is going to be Enhanced Power Cell. This is going to be another black battle icon. Really, really nice stuff. Utility as well and it says the upgraded character has plus three health. The plus three health has really made a huge difference in a lot of games where I need to have that couple extra points. Not to mention it is really annoying to put onto um, your demolisher, your opponent is spending a lot of attacks where you're trying to get through his four defense and then being able to put that on there makes him really, really healthy. And then if you also put on your horrible, that is still a couple more trigger triggers with black battle icons to really keep damaging your opponent. 
Now the next two coming in are going to be one ofs as well. It's going to be Enforcement, uh, Batons, and Bashing Shield. These are, again, usually most of my aggressive decks. I usually run one. It's going to be orange, green, battle icons, so you're going to be able to use them for attack, which is really nice. And then a green to pick them up after combat. Uh, the weapon is going to be able to let you put this on a character and scrap an enemy weapon, plus one attack. And then the armor is going to do the same thing, but for the armor slot. So you put on a character, you get to scrap an enemy armor, and then you get plus one defense. Now again, oh, these are pretty basic batons, but if you do want to put this onto your demolisher, well, guess what? Now your Demolisher gets plus one defense, which means you get to swing for one more card when it comes to you attacking with your Demolisher, which is super, super awesome. Now, one thing I tend to do is obviously shuffle up my deck and then go ahead and show you guys a quick little dry run to see how it does perform. I am going to have to kind of um, do a different shuffle on this because obviously we just had all those cards uh, separated out. So uh, this is just, as I said, a really fun deck, just a super aggressive deck. If you're not wanting to play something like Sky Shadow and you just want to mess around with something that's orange, black, and maybe play horrible. And again, like I said, something that's just a little more fun. It is definitely still a very strong deck because you're hitting for so much pierce and doing so much direct damage. It is very hard for your opponent to keep up unless they are also playing something that is pretty aggressive. Um, this thing does kind of really chew blue decks apart just because again, like you guys saw, uh, we're trying to get in mind wipe here for insane pierce numbers. So you really get to kind of beat your opponent in the long game if they are on blue for sure and if you're playing up against an or another orange deck well then it's just a race to kind of see how things um you know all turn out so that is going to be our shuffle let's get god that was terrible a little cut we'll put that on the bottom because it really won't matter um i usually try to even possibly go second if you're going to be going against this just because sometimes we really want to play a card on demolisher however if we get to go first it's not a big deal so let's assume that we do get to go first we'll draw our cards here and we have a pretty nice hand again. Being able to go second here would be pretty nice to be able to put Fusion Boar on one of our characters. But we're going to transform Demolisher and we're going to send him in first just because we want to see the kind of damage he's going to do. And then one, two, three, four, and then two for the white. So we're actually only going to be getting in here for four Pierce. Four, it's really not that bad to be honest with you to start off things. Uh, I wish that we would have had uh, five Pierce. Five, we do have one, two, three, four, five black battle icons, but we only have four orange battle icons. Again, really, really nice. And then here we did flip a couple of green battle icons. I'd probably pick up Hold the Line, so we'll chuck this Improvised Shield that doesn't do much for us get out of here uh, pretty good stuff and obviously us trying to defend here we probably take a couple points of damage uh, let's say our opponent you know man she can put like three down on him cool cool we're gonna draw a card <laughs> looks really really good we can already see that we have a really good action here and a really good upgrade if it's a character that we want to swing mind wipe into it'll be really really nice if not we'll transform horrible here and then i would probably go for something like let's put an escape capsule here because we're going to try to really make sure we get a big hit with our mind wipe with doing that obviously we would do our one damage to our horrible and then one damage to an enemy and then we're going to go for mm, let's go for a precision fire here uh we can just get some extra damage in here we can choose bot mode alt mode alt mode at this point would do at least two or three damage to our opponent just because they only had one turn so even if we hit some like alt mode be really really nice uh we would ping our own little mind wipe for one i don't know if you guys can see that all right, so we would ping our Mind Wipe for one, maybe hit two for our opponent, and then we would get to do another damage to our Horrible, and then another damage to an enemy character, and then we'll send our Horrible in here. Boonk, boonk. So not a whole lot. We're getting in for six Pierce one. Again, Horrible is not really designed to get a lot of physical damage. He's designed to get a lot of defensive damage. Now our opponent most of the time will go for Horrible here as hard as they possibly can just because Horrible is really, really annoying. So it's really nice for us to also be able to use him for that plus two health and then to also be kind of a meat shield to be able to really protect our Demolisher. So let's say our opponent attacks in and they're going to KO our Horrible here. Get him out of here. Bam, he's out. It also gets to bring out Kreb, which is really nice. Uh, I'm going to say no to picking up either of those. I'm not really too worried about it. Again, just trying to really kind of see how this testing is going to go here. Now, we have some really, really nice Jazz. Uh, unfortunately, because Horrible went down, we're missing a lot of direct damage this turn because we'd be able to get two more direct damage out. So again, assuming Horrible would have stuck around, being able to get two more here would be really, really nice. But we'll go Fusion Bore and fight for position here. And then we're going to send our Mind Wipe in. I just want to kind of see how much damage we're going to be able to get out with him. So we're going to go one, two, bold one, bold two. Uh, really not that much as far as for Pierce goes, but 
we're in for five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Pierce four, seven, eight. So really, really strong. I wish we saw a few more blacks here, but fifteen Pierce eight is a ridiculously good turn for just playing an action and an upgrade for the turn. So even if your opponent is rocking something that is heavy blue, being able to take Pierce eight is super, super solid, which is really, really nice stuff. And then again, our opponent would kind of go back with however they wanted. You know, most likely probably go into our demolisher here. But even if they hit our mind wipe, we also uh, did flip a one black when it came to his ability. So uh, our opponent would have to scrap a card, which is really, really nice. They get to hit into someone, and then we still have Kreb who gets to go, which is really, really nice. Uh, we would get to draw and just kind of see what gets up. I guess we would have flipped two for defense. Don't let me cheat. And then draw for turn. Again, a really good draw. I mean, to sit there and get to put that down. And let's go for a secret action. Let's see kind of what happens since we're already in the mood. Boom, boom, boom. So we're in for two, five, seven, pierce five. And for a one star character, I'd say that is pretty good. So you guys get just get to see that this thing does get to put out some pretty insane pierce turns. Even these little guys just get in for so much damage. It is pretty, pretty insane. And again, a really fun deck because you're like essentially a five wide. Um, for a lot of people who don't know what that reference means, it means it's just how many characters we have across our side of our table. And it's just because we may only start with three characters. Once Horrible goes down, it deploys a fourth character. And then once Mind Wipe goes down, it deploys a fifth character. So we are a five wide team. Being an aggressive deck is really, really strong. We have a lot of health across this, and then we do so much damage. It's really hard for our opponents who play keep up with us. I really hope that you guys did enjoy this deck profile video on these characters. Let me know down in the comment section below. If you guys are having fun with any other type of orange black other than Sky Shadow, I'd be really interested to see your guys' list. And if you guys plan on sleeving this up, let me know as well, because I really hope that you guys do try it out. I'll catch you guys in the next one.